Silent letters in words don't make any sense. How about you just don't add the letter in the word? So there are a couple of reasons that silent letters、uh, exist in English. One is that the pronunciation of the language has changed, and the spelling system just hasn't kept up with it. For example, the gh in words like through and thought and night. The gh exists there because that sound used to be pronounced in Old English and Middle English. That was the velar fricative. <laughs> Eventually, because that's quite a difficult sound to pronounce, it dropped out of the language. But we continue to spell words with the gh through a process of sheer inertia. There have been calls for spelling reform in English for literally centuries. In the 19th century, one author complained that the word fish might as well be spelled g h o t i. G h as in the f at the end of rough, o as in the i in women, and t i as in the sh. In mention now, in reality, no one would actually spell fish this way because we know that there are implicit rules to where letter combinations can go in words. So we know that gh can stand for the sound f, but only at the end of a word, as in rough, enough, tough. There was also a moment in time where a word like mention would have been pronounced mention or something like that. But the t i o n in English, if you say it enough times over and over, tian 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 chin 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 chin, it just becomes a lot easier to say shin. So t i becomes sh. Ease of articulation is a common trigger for sound change in English and other languages.